Are you willing to turn away from sin and have Jesus make you a new person? No. No? <laughs> no. Why not? Should I stop drinking alcohol? No. Should I stop smoking weed what? now and then? No, I'm not going to do that. God gave me eyes to look at women and I enjoy looking at women. I can love my wife, but I can still have flirty eyes. <laughs> See, that's where he wants to bring healing. On one of our previous trips to Mexico, I witnessed to a beach vendor, and he's one of the most interesting and honest people that I've ever talked to. He subtly knew quite a bit about Jesus and the coming judgment, but he had some fun that was really hard for him to let go of. There are some really important things toward the end of this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I've got a, a like a YouTube channel. Is it okay if I ask you a few questions, like interview you? What is it about? What is it about? Uh, the afterlife. The afterlife? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Why not? I don't know anything about that. Yeah? Well, I can tell you about it. Okay, so what, what do you believe happens after you die? I believe that this is not it. I believe that there's something else waiting for us. Whether our soul becomes somebody else, on a, on a different universe or a different life. Yeah. Have you ever told a lie before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? Me, me too. You're, you're right. The government is the biggest liar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about, have you ever uh, taken anything that wasn't yours? Yeah. Yeah, same, same for me. I mean, who, who hasn't? Yeah, I know, that's right. Even yeah. if it's just a cookie out of the cookie jar. Amen, yeah, I agree. Uh, what about, have you ever like looked at a woman and lusted? All the time. All the time, yeah. So, My uh, wife. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so Jesus said, if it's anyone other than your wife, I'm not judging you, but just by your, your own admission, you would be like a thief, a liar. And uh, Jesus said, like, if we lust over someone, we commit adultery in our heart if it's not our wife. It's, um, it, it happens to anybody that's human, I think it, they've done it. Yeah, yeah. So that's three of the, the Ten Commandments that God gave, which He'll judge each and every person in the world by the Ten Commandments. Yeah. So He would find you guilty and me guilty and literally everyone in the world guilty and the punishment for sin is actually death. It's eternal punishment in like a lake of fire and brimstone. Yeah. Not a good place. But God doesn't want us to go there so he actually sent Jesus into the world because he loves us. What you deserve with your life is punishment for your sin. That's what I deserve too. Jesus, he was perfect. Jesus never sinned one time. So Jesus deserved to live forever. He deserved literally to be with the Father for all of eternity in a perfect place. Jesus, he took our sins upon himself. He took our punishment upon himself and he died a brutal death. He was tortured and murdered and hung on a cross naked. You've heard of that, right? Of course. Yeah. But and then, doesn't. yeah. And then God raised him from the dead on the third day. And the Bible says, if we call upon Jesus as our Lord, which means we say it with our mouth and we believe it in our heart that Jesus Christ is our King, then it says what happens is our sins are washed away. He removes the sin and the punishment of sin because he paid for it on the cross. That's, that's why everybody is a sinner, because we believe that he's already committed that for us. So we have that hope. Yeah. Everybody has that hope. That well, he's people. Already, he's already died for our sins. And to deny any impulses that makes us human already, you know, obviously from day one, you know, Adam and Eve, I mean, they were sinners. Yeah. So it, it got passed on to us. So yeah, and we and we, we have our own free will. Which what, what you're saying is right. But what Jesus does when we truly make him our king, which a king is someone who like has authority. So he has authority over us, and we're saying, I'm going to listen to you, and I'm not just going to do my own thing. I'm not going to go kind of rebel against the king, but I'm going to submit to you. But his two commands are to love him and to love other people. So what happens when we believe in Jesus as our king, he makes us a new creature. He, he makes us a new person. He gives us a new heart. He gives us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit helps us to no longer keep sinning. Like Jesus told people, he would say, go and sin no more. So Jesus, he'll actually set us free from sin. That human nature that you're talking about, Jesus will set you free from that so you don't have to keep doing the sinful stuff. And he'll actually, help you to start doing God's will because God, God created you for a purpose. If God just left us in a place where we just kept on sinning, 
then that would mean God is like, uh, he failed. He's a failure, yeah. Yeah, he's a failure, but he didn't fail. He sent Jesus to make us a new creation. So we stop sinning. And so we start to do his will and we can't do it alone. But when we believe in Jesus, something supernatural happens and he comes and lives inside of us. And then the Holy Spirit actually begins to help us do good. And he produces good things. And we begin to truly love him and to truly love other people. And we no longer live a sinful life. We, we become a completely different person in a good way. And where we had uh, anxiety and depression, Jesus, he'll give us hope and joy and love and he'll give us peace and he'll help us to walk in this life, not beaten down, but overcoming. Yeah. Are you willing to turn away from sin and have Jesus make you a new person and help you to do his will? No. No? <laughs> no. Why not? I mean, he can make me a new person, but how far is anybody willing to, to say no more sin? Yeah. How, Why? You know, be, be, how, how? Because you like the sin? No, it's, it's not that I like the sin. You know, obviously, no, I mean, I, I don't steal. I try not to, but, it, you know, we live in a world where anything goes at this point in moment. Go, you know, go tell the, the, the devil to disappear. Tell the evil to disappear from us. It says that Jesus, Jesus and he loves me. openly that. paraded over. I know. So it, it, it says when we become a Christian, he gives us authority over all the power of the enemy. And to, to even trample upon demons and things like that. And he yeah, says there, nothing will by any means harm us. There's so, there's so much you can do, really. Yeah. There's, so I, I feel like you're kind of putting your trust in you a little bit in the sense of you're saying, I don't feel like I can stop sinning. Um, but Jesus in you. It comes a moment where you feel like you're dying or something. And that's when people repent. And that's not right. Yeah. I know that's not right because God is merciful. But now is the moment. But, you know, it's just not it's as human nature. I can say, oh, yes, my friend, I stop. I stop right now. But it's not true. It's not truthful. So it's a desire. But if you have a desire in your heart to do stop, I, do, should I stop drinking alcohol? No, you know, I drink alcohol. Yeah. Should I stop smoking weed what? now and now and then? No, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So, so, so you want to keep like drinking is not keep, a sin. Getting I drunk. I keep living. That's that's all. Yeah. God gave me eyes to look at women, and I enjoy looking at women. Yeah. God gave me the heart, so I can love. I can love my wife, but I can still, you know, have flirty eyes. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's where he wants to to bring healing. But if if you if I you don't go out there and kill people or or break with women or you know yeah. I, I I try to balance into the good by maybe not maybe but you know talking sense into people doing I mean doing what I can. Yeah, but any sin, the punishment is death. Even, even if it's murder or if it's lying. No, I know. Or if it's big or small. Yeah, I don't lie. The, 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 the punishment of sin. From on, I stopped lying. When I was a kid, I stopped stealing. I don't steal. Not even yeah. half a cent. But even because you did, the, the punishment is still Gluten is I don't eat. I try to dead. eat less. I try, I try to be as, as, as good as I can be. Yeah. So what, what if someone murdered someone and then they stood before the judge and they said, listen, I've been a really good person. Like I just murdered someone one time. I promise I'm not gonna do it again. I'm, I'll be a good person. Yeah, it, can can you let me off the hook? It uh, justice is it's funny and it has the loops. Well, the, the the judge he's gonna he's gonna make him pay for murdering someone. Oh, yeah. He's gonna Unless have to. Somebody so, comes and says he's uh, crazy and he he deserves to be in a loony bin. But still, and that's a. Two, he reforms and then comes out. <laughs> yeah, that that's a twisted up system. That's a twisted. <laughs> That's, That's a twisted, twisted system. A, but God doesn't have a twisted system. So if we stand before him and we say, hey, look, I'm a good person. I did a lot of good things. I just sinned a little bit. He's going to say the punishment oh, yeah. is still death. I know. I know that yeah. somebody up there is scribbling on my notes. Yeah. And but listen, if, if you have the desire in your heart for God to help you stop sinning, and to really do his will, to do what he created you for, if you have that desire in your heart, then that is enough to turn. It's a, it's a change of mind, it's a change of heart. God help me 
to stop doing things opposite of your will. Help me to stop sinning and then put your trust in him. And then he's the one who will actually give you a new heart and then he'll begin to help you. You don't have to be afraid of, oh, what if I keep sinning? I don't want to do this because I might keep sinning. You don't have to be afraid. Just put your trust in him. But if you really don't want to stop sinning, then that's another thing. Who, who does? I, you, you can, I don't. You can pick anybody from here. Yeah. And say, here, Every, stop, everyone, stop eating, stop smoking, stop. Uh, it's bad for you. It's bad for your heart. Yeah. But when you taste of how good he is, you don't need the, I, I, I used to get drunk five times a week. I used to smoke weed every morning when I woke up. I used to take mushrooms, I used to take drugs, I used to go to the bars and party and sleep with women. I used to do all that. But compared to him, now that I've experienced him, all that is nothing to me. It's empty. It doesn't bring true, true peace. It doesn't bring true joy. It doesn't bring true love. It's all empty and it leaves you empty until you get drunk the next time and then you feel a little bit better or until you smoke weed the next time you feel a little bit better but and then when when you're feeling bad. then when you're sober your, your body is. yeah yeah you start feeling bad and it starts to weigh on you you feel guilty you feel ashamed and it's you live an empty life and it leads to it leads to death but if you'll give your life to him you'll never regret it and he i'm telling you when you experience him you don't even you don't even care to get drunk anymore it's not fun anymore it, like smoking weed to take the anxiety away and stop worrying and chill out. You don't need it because he, he does that. Yeah. But you want to keep, you want to keep no, drinking I mean, and smoking? It's not, it's not so much. I don't, I, you know, I don't smoke at this time and point. I don't drink at this point in time. I may have a beer occasionally, but that's it. I, I still think that the one day I'll get drunk or not. And so what? But, it's part of life. <laughs> well, it's a punishment of death though. Because, because he can help you not get drunk. But if you want to get drunk, that's different. Yeah. But he can, he can help you, uh, he can help you not get, not get drunk. He, and he, he takes the desire away. So you, you don't even, it's no fun anymore. No, you don't, don't even want I to. Don't, I just, you know, I don't have any power to argue on that. And I don't have any power to argue against him. To say, why don't you go help that nation stop the, the killing, the wars. I mean, there's so much in the world that whatever's happening here, it feels like, you know, like if that's happening there, you know, if that, if all of that suffering and all the drug addicts, you know, go, if the fentanyl and everything that goes on in other countries allowed by the government, by the way, I mean, that's a lot of suffering. Mm -hmm. So suffering all over the world why why should i worry with my little you know whatever goes on with me <laughs> yeah because god cares about you uh, he cares about everybody yeah and yet but he cares even lot, lots of despair yeah because people keep living their own way and, and they they don't they don't trust him and do his will if people trusted him and did his will then all that would stop but people still want to be selfish and do their own thing so it brings forth evil brings forth evil um, yeah, yeah. So you want to keep doing your own thing? I keep my, doing my own thing until I can. Yeah, until you can? What, what do you mean? Until I have no more breath. And then what? And then, then I'm done. Then the judgment? <laughs> but the judgment can come because I will, I'll deserve it. Yeah. I think so. But God doesn't want it. Excuse me. Hold on one second. Yes, oh. yes. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. First off, right after this video, I'm asking you to please pray, even just a quick prayer for this gentleman to repent and put his faith in Jesus. The Bible conveys in Hebrews 11.25 that there is pleasure in sin, but that pleasure passes away. In James 1.14 through 16, it says, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. In Romans 8, 13, it says, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die, but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Now listen, sin is deceitful. It's kind of like a mousetrap. 
The mouse is enticed by the cheese. It smells good. It looks good. It's going to taste good. And he might even get a little bit of that cheese off, and it's going to be pleasurable to him. But as he continues to go back to that cheese, eventually he's going to set the trap off, and that bar is going to come over, and it's going to cost that mouse his life. Now, maybe there are sins that you know of in your own life right now and that you find some type of pleasure in, but please hear me. Those things end in death. Eternal separation from the Father in a lake of fire and brimstone, and it's not worth the passing pleasures of that sin but you still have time to flee the wrath of God that's being stored up against you because of your own sin. Turn from sin and put your trust in Jesus today, and he'll set you free from that sin and empower you by the Spirit of God to do his will. For those of you who already belong to God, preach the true and transforming gospel boldly, all because you love God and you love others. Please don't forget to pray for the guy in this video. If you're led to partner with us financially, you can do that through ko-fi.com slash Nicholas Bowling. And if you're interested in spreading the gospel with a t-shirt like this one, you can find them at nicholasbowling.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can also click one of these videos on the screen to watch other amazing stories of what God has been doing I'll see you next time.